Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Education. My name is Collins and they. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to log in to Microsoft Office 365 using your institutional email account. So if you don't have an institutional email account, say your school, your work, place and stuff like that, you can save or uh, create a free email account, Microsoft email account, and that way you have access to log onto Office 365. I have a video that I, that I created on signing on to Office 365 without uh, institutional email account, so you can watch that as well. So all we need to do in this video uh, is to go to office.com. Office Once you have an institutional email account, uh, for this video, I'll be using my University of Liberia email account. So I'm going to sign into switch to different account, and it's all right. So that's my institutional email account. And I'm going to click on sign in. So this is the first place you know that you are with your institution because your institution have a customized page. So as you can see, this is mine. And I'm going to put in my password. So that's it with my password. Click sign in. And I will have this page opens up with all my related work. So these are videos I've made, you know, with the faculty at the University of Liberia and stuff like that. So I have everything here. So this is how you sign up using your institutional email account. One thing you need to take into consideration once you're using your institutional email account uh, in comparison with the free version is that your institutional email account comes with a subscription package. So you have more features and you have like more storage space on your Microsoft account once you are using your institutional email account. So I just want to click here. These are all of the features that I have. For you right now, I'm going to click here and you will see all of them. When I click on all apps, I can have the list of all the viral apps that comes uh, with my institutional email subscription. So the university have uh, their own subscription package for all employees of the University of Liberia and the, uh, the student, right? So you want to make sure you have all of that. And there are a lot of things you can do once you sign up with uh, the email address. You can install uh, Office 365 on your computer. So say you have a MacBook, you have Windows and stuff like that, you can install the apps. So one thing you need to know is that this version of Office 365 is online. So this is where you go online, you can have access to it once you have like your on your phone, on your tablet and stuff like that, you can have access to all of them online. Or better still, if you want to install uh, Office 365 apps on your computer, you go down to Install Office, and you're going to click on Install Office. It has uh, Office 365 apps, and I'm going to click Office 365 apps. It's going to download, and then you can install it on your computer. But for me, I already have it, so I'm just going to download it right now. Give you a little chance to download. I'm going to close this page. So that's it. That's how you go about logging into your Office 365. And most importantly, you try to install it on your computer. When you install Office 365 on your computer, you can come back to your your uh, your start your Windows start, and you're going to see. Office 365, you're going to see this. So this is what I have downloaded and installed. So sign up with your institutional email address and then 
install your Office 365 apps, this one on your account, and then you have access to uh, the install version on your computer. Like you see, Excel, I have Excel, I have Word, I have OneNote. All of them will be directly in like installed on your computer. This is Word. So when I open up Word, there are some little difference between the one that's installed, the installed version, and uh, the one online. I think the one online have less features in comparison to the one you install. So if this is, I'm just going to uh, yeah, minimize this a little bit and show you something real quick. And then if I open up the Office 365 online version, and I open create a new blank document. It's gonna take a little bit, give you a little chance. And it's gonna open up. So I'm gonna show you something quick. Oh, that's this. So let's wait a little bit. So it opens up. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So you can see from just the look, this is the online version of the Office 365, and this is the one you installed on your computer. So yeah, we notice that you know, there are little difference or differences in the various apps. As you can see, we have less tabs here in comparison to the one you download on your computer. So if you want the full version of all the apps and all the various stuff, like things like uh things like summa art insert summa art and all the kind of stuff you gotta make sure to download the you gotta download uh the apps on your computer so that is just the the little differences uh between the online version and the one you installed on your computer but in every other way they both are actually functional and you can get the best out of them so you only you cannot do this if you don't have an institutional uh, Microsoft account so that's the advantage so with the online you can use the free, your like a free account create a free account and then use the online you have a little bit of less features in comparison to the full version because this is what this this version comes with subscription that's why you can install it on your computer so that's it that, that, that a lot of things you can do from here on the online version and you can also do it on the one that's installed locally on your pc you can still collaborate you can still share file you can as you you see share and comment on the online version you see share and comment you can edit and stuff like that so for this, the advantage is you have access to this everywhere you go, you have your account. So if you like using your tablet or your iPad, you can just uh, open your web browser for office.com uh, and then you have access to your file that have been saved, your documents. Every document you saved online will definitely be like in your OneDrive, you will definitely see everything there that you can work with from anywhere. That's one of the importance of the, the online version. So once you have it, you have access to it everywhere. So one thing I like to do is that even when I'm using uh, the installed version on my computer, I make sure most of my work that I will do, I save my work to one draft. So this subscription comes with one draft package. So we can, uh, upload all of our our files and folders up to our, into our one drive that way you can have access to it everywhere or anywhere you go so that was just it for signing up to microsoft account again if you are in the university of Liberia, your packet comes with everything there are a lot of things you can enjoy from the microsoft uh, 365 so the next thing we'll be telling you is how to set up your account, how to customize them, and how to, to set up your profile and stuff like that. And in upcoming videos, we will 
tell you everything on how to use developer apps like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneDrive. So this is OneDrive. This is kind of like a storage space that comes with uh, your Office 365 uh, sorry, package subscription that your institution has. So if you're not from the University of Liberia, and you're from other institutions, you can also use your institution email account and then you have access to everything based on what your the package your institution has. So thank you. If you don't have an institution, institutional sorry, institutional email account, create a free e Microsoft email account and you have access to the online version of this and you can follow us in all of our many tutorials that we will be doing. So that's it, thank you very much. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It is made for you to learn the basic of everything we have to teach and share it with your friends. Comment, let me know how you feel about this video, what uh, new things you learn. And if you have any important or fun uh, things that you want to learn in technology, comment on the video and let me know. That way we can create our, our list of video to, cre to create and then make sure we upload some of these videos. So anything you want to learn that you think will be very important to you, comment on the video. And please, please like this video and subscribe. Share it to all your friends. Thanks very much. See you next time.